hopefully it, it doesn't have very much stress, no stress. Just relax, have your coffee, your tea, your Diet Pepsi. That one big Diet Pepsi I try to cut back, it lasted me three whole days. I don't even know how the, the bubbles were still in it the third day, but yeah, I drank it up. It was fantastic. And this new way of life with less sugar, less honey, less sweets to try to beat diabetes is pretty cool. I'm just taking it slow so I don't get overwhelmed. It's pretty cool. Um, I kind of measure out any sugar or high carb things real easy, like a cheat day, real easy. And I haven't, you know, yeah, I, I do a lot of fasting after and before it too. But yeah, I've been doing absolutely amazing um, with uh, controlling the uh, amount of sugar or um, sweet things, you know. And I'm doing fantastic that way. You know, some days are better than others with the, with the depression. Some days I get anxiety pretty bad. But I mean, overall, I'm really blessed. I didn't have very much, you know, I was freaking and I didn't have very much. I, I didn't really have anything. I didn't have any, really have any furniture. I get, you know, I left everything in Florida, moved it out to my dad too. He was dying from congestive heart failure and COPD. Um, from binge eating, um, from obesity, from high blood pressure. He did have high blood pressure. It wasn't just borderline, he had high blood pressure. Um, gosh, I think more things wrong with him, but he had a, a number of things. I think he did have depression and uh, mental disorders. Um, he might have had schizophrenia or something like that. Um, he would repeat and he would, um, you know, he was really tough on me, you know. So I lived here really with no pay. I did a lot of things for free out of just love or kindness. Um, the money I had in the past, I worked hard for it as a salesperson. I love herbs and oils and I'm just fascinated with it. I would sell can essential oil candles. I did I sold a lot of candles. Um I love to cook and I sold a lot of cookware and um I'm naturally gifted in that. It, it's it's also past life gifts that I retain or remember. And um I got to grow up a, a thin, you know, enlightened indigo child um, making you know making my first million in my 20s and then I budgeted it I was in a car accident in my 30s so I budgeted a minute last I inherited money from and he was giving gifts from um, on my mom's side my grandmother and my grandmother on my dad's side, grandparents, huge chunks of money. And I budgeted it, I made it last. And uh, I learned about living frugally and I've had times where I've had nothing, I had nothing to eat. I had no, I had no money or if I did have money, some money in the bank, but not, you know, couldn't get to it or, or something like that. But I've gotten where I've had no money. I used all my money for rent. I've, I've always had my own. I had my own, I paid my own rent for five years living in Florida. I've always paid my own bills living in California. No one had anything else to me. I had it hard. I had to leave home at 16 to live with my grandma. Uh, my parents couldn't even feed me. I was just um, getting so thin and starving so much because there wasn't enough food in the house. My uh, sister and brother were gluttons and they would, you know, they would eat my food, my portion. And, uh, 
you know. Um, and eating and overeating kind of runs in my family, and I'm the only, I'm like the uh, rebel. <laughs> I'm the rebel. So, um, a young person in their teens and 20s fasting and a uh, prayer, and I went to the Catholic Church and the Christian. I tried different religions, and I kind of do my own. And I kind of, I call it bugging in. I have my supplies that I mean. And other times, if my immune system's good, I was outside with my dad. You know, it was my, my dad's house. I was outside. But, but um, yeah. But, um, I have to spend time by myself. And I get these migraines and headaches from the high, from the blood pressure and from the anxiety and almost little bits of panic. My heart racing real fast. The, the counselor is saying that does sound like panic. Like a mm, I just want to like go downstairs and bring my water water cup down and not be bothered. But um, and be still and be quiet. And sometimes having to talk, being interrogated, I feel, and it raises my blood pressure, it makes my heart pound, and I'm not bitter, and they call it light banter and all that, but to me it's, to me it's abuse, I don't want a hundred million questions about where is this, or someone stole that, I don't care, uh, nobody stole any of my stuff, and, uh, you know, let's try not to live with paranoia and uh, blaming Jenny Sorcy for things she didn't do or just blaming people for stealing stuff because your eyes don't see or you don't, your hearing's going bad and your eyes aren't open and you don't have any spiritual gifts or you're not using them if you do. And listening to gossip and lies Especially about me, Jenny Sorcy. Um, listening to gossip and lies. Saying, uh, you know, and especially the gossip saying, um, saying that I have a lot of money and I make fun of people with less than. That's tr oh, so, such a opposite lie. I had no money. Um, I did things for free for my dad. I didn't have to. I could have lived in Florida, and then uh, I could have lived there forever on my own in my own apartment. I did sales. I, you know, no one really helps me. And um, I knew myself for a car accident. No one stepped up to the plate and helped me financially or helped me with anything. I did everything on my own. And, um, uh, you know, let's try not to have delusions and lives and live in a fantasy world and just be negative after negative and be toxic, you know. And um, the toxicity, you know, and the narcissism and the toxicity running through different people that want my attention. Um, I don't have attention for you. Those that do that, I cut them all. I cut them out of my life. I'm thinking of um, ex-boyfriends and stuff like that. Of you know, I don't uh, talk to any. If they try to get my attention, I uh, I shun them because they are horrible people. Um, just awful, horrible, horrifying people. I would never want anything to do with them, nor see them ever again, or meet them or anything. And um, I don't know why they would ever want to contact me 20, 30 years later. Um, but, uh, you know, I pray and forgive people, but uh, I don't want anything to do with any ex-boyfriends, any of them. And, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm about having a lot of friends. I'm quite popular, but I'm also very much in solitude, prayer, and and I budget my money. I inherited from my dad that passed away, and I appreciate it, but I, um, I have a very tiny budget, very, very itty bitty budget, and um, if I go over it, then it digs into my money for the next month, hence I'm very careful with shopping and different things, and I like to make videos for people. Uh, because I don't have a hundred dollars to give out to, to or two hundred or three hundred dollars to give as Christmas presents to everybody. <laughs> and um, for years I didn't I didn't celebrate Christmas or anything. I I do Christmas in July, and I'll do some videos for them, and I'll do some you know different videos as I see them as I see them. But um, yeah. I don't own any fancy houses or mansion. I'm, I'm uh, we have properties, and I have to pay, you know, a third of the property taxes, and and it all comes out of my money. And there's not much to work with. There really isn't. There'll be more in the future, but starting out, it's really a tight, tight budget. And um, yeah, I just can't give to. Um, uh, to any ex-boyfriends, I can't give it them or their attention, and they shouldn't be uh, coming around. It's very inappropriate, and uh, I'm not going to uh, feed into it or take it. Any ex-friends that weren't there for me for my dad's funeral or for me, you know, I'm not going to give them anything that I don't have. They have more than me. <laughs> But I'm not going to be um, prayed, you know. I'm not going to be a victim or a predator, you know, predator or um, bullied or lied about or put down. And you can live uh, on a fixed income or a budget, or if you get an inheritance, or if you win some lotto money, you don't have to blow it all at once and be broke again. You can learn how to budget, you know, prep meals. Um, I do a lot of budget-friendly little dollar or two dollars, and I, a lot of times I give up my food so my kids could have food or my husband can have food. He likes to eat a lot. We're trying to have him gain weight. But, uh, yeah, so he eats a lot, but he doesn't really gain. He, he did gain some weight, but, but um yeah, so, but um, I have the gift of fasting and the gift of uh, feeling other people's conditions and feelings, sentient, and um, I have clairvoyance, I have clairaudience, I have 